What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be starting a brand new series in my GM and it is going to be focused on the future stars challenge. I had a whole bunch of comments and suggestions and votes over in the uh, in the past ECW my GM series and first of all thank you guys for all that and uh, I think the clear winner was using only jobbers slash local talent slash rookie so 5 xp or lower uh, wrestlers in a challenge and try to win on expert difficulty and uh, expert uh, ai so that is what we're going to be doing today uh, we'll jump into which brands we're picking and which gm i'll be using in just a second but before we do that i also want to say i'm adding three extra rules to make this even harder uh, on us in this series those three rules are only choosing two men and two women with five XP, and then the rest will be rookies, so local or jobber talents. Only using one power card per week, because that can get out of control, so limiting it to one card per week should add an increased difficulty to us. And I'm gonna give the AI $3.5 million while I only have three million. We'll see how I, I do that in just a sec. So those are the added challenges to what already seems like it's going to be a pretty difficult my GM. But I just want to say thank you all for the continued support on this channel. It's fantastic. Uh, liking the videos and, subscri and subscribing to the channel has helped out a lot. And without any further ado, let's jump into this series. So here we are. This is the setup we're going to be going with this time around. We have Ted DiBiase running NXT 2.0. That's going to be us. Uh, we're going to do our best with... Uh, with what we can, Ted DiBiase's power card is a million dollar man. Twice per season, we get to book shows for free, which that's going to be a big help. NXT 2.0's power card is free. The next three free agents are half off. That's almost going to be completely useless because of how cheap local and jobber talents are. Then we have Adam Pierce over on Raw. That's like it just in real life. Uh, he has his uh, instigator card from last year where rivalries increase by two levels. Uh, and Raw has the same power card as This Is War. Uh, we got Teddy Long, who, whoops, who uh, who has hold on a second player. I, I forget what his power card is actually. Um, I have to look that up. And SmackDown has the same uh, has the same um, power card as last year, where six random superstars gain like I think it's five popularity. And then William Regal's got Power of the Punch, where it's uh, I think it's an, an opposing brand loses like all stars lose five popularity which is pretty crazy so this is looking like it's gonna be a pretty difficult uh, a pretty difficult my gm challenge so we'll go ahead and confirm selections we're gonna set this to extreme to extreme so i mentioned how the computer is gonna have 3.5 million and i'm only gonna have three we'll get to that in a second draft order we'll just leave uh uh, okay, well, we'll leave uh, that was the same we did last year. So we'll leave it on that shakeups. We'll leave on Draft pool. I'm gonna go to a custom one that I've made uh, Whoops, I just want to show a bit of it and It is we go to the bottom here. I've, I've had a few people send in their creator wrestlers uh, I wrote this down. So I want to give them credit here um, So I'm gonna get this completely wrong. I'm sorry, but Climbery 999. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. They uh, they've submitted cl uh, this We have uh, Sebastian Vigil who's given nightmare and then Paul Russell who's given munch D clown who is uh, Who's gonna be added into this my GM and special shout out to uh, Jake in Apache who doesn't have any cause but wants to see red monsoon So just wanted to give that a uh, quick little quick little shout out. They'll be added to uh, this my GM so we'll select that and then match unlocks will do uh yeah matches are being locked and we're good to go let's enter the draft so yeah so for the, for the the uh, the difference in the budgets because there is no limit on how many wrestlers you can release per week i'm gonna spend an extra million dollars on uh, on talent on on talent and then release them right away so i only get half that amount back so i'll actually be starting with 3 million whereas the cpu has 3.5 million so i think i'm gonna have first go Ooh, Rey mysterio legend right off the bat um okay so i have all the oh nightmare is not there that's unfortunate oh that's tough sorry sorry sebastian but uh we'll go with 
the first overall pick will be Munch. Gonna grab Munch D Clown. Raw's gonna go Becky Lynch starting off strong. Smackdown going Charlotte Flair. And William Regal going Bianca Belair. So the <laughs> three pretty pretty important women just picked right off the bat. And Munch. So I gotta make Munch the Clown a, a, a star here. So we'll go next with Ava Moreno. So this is a new, uh, I believe this is a new uh, local talent that got added this year. Um, I don't think I've ever seen her before. So we're gonna go and choose, oh, good stamina. Way to go, Ava Moreno. 19 popularity, but 90 stamina. That's good, we need that. Raw's gonna go Finn. Oh, I didn't set the, uh, I didn't set the pick to, uh, what, the, what what am I saying here? To to snake order. That's okay. Um, sorry about that. Clay Biss will be next. We're gonna pick him, and then we also can, we can choose two wrestlers with five uh, ring XP, uh, two men and two women. So we'll make sure to look at that. Well, there goes one of them in JC Jane. But I just want to make sure we get all the uh, all the talent that we're asked for by by you the fans of this channel and then red monsoon was suggested by uh jake and pachi hopefully i'm saying that uh saying that right so there we got all the ones i gotta take care of and now we can go ahead and draft four wrestlers with five ring xp so who do we got here so whacking wild trick williams used them last uh, last time around uh Cora jade okay Instant instant rivalry with Ava Moreno. That's good. Classes match up. Styles match up. And stamina is good. So that seems like a no-brainer, I think. Cora J leading the show with uh, her veteran style. Nikki Cross going to Raw. Shame is going to smack that. Is Rey Mysterio that much? Oh, he... Look at that cost. I just saw that now. I might as well pick Rey Mysterio and then get rid of him. Because that's like... Right away, that's almost the million right off the bat. Because it looks like people, it looks like the other brands are shying away because of that is crazy. That's more than double the cost of the the next available wrestler on, on the board. So I'll go pick Ray so we can get rid of him right away. Or maybe I should have left him there to give the other shows a chance if they wanted to get him. That's fine. Damian Priest goes, Gunther goes, and Stax goes. That could have been someone we could I think could have been looking at. I believe uh, that's okay. Or no, I guess not. I was looking at uh, at those two, maybe have a, a tag team uh, going on of Stax and Tony D'Angelo, but they're 10 in ring XP, so we couldn't grab them. Next, we're gonna do, ooh, Candice LeRae. That's a shame that she's only five in ring uh, XP. I mean, she's one of the most talented women, I, I in, in, my, in my opinion, in WWE. Dom Mysterio is only five ring XP. Interesting, interesting. Austin Theory also, it's kind of strange. Solo Sokoa Butch, no way. Are, that is insane. That is insane. Did we see Mark Coffey? Do we get Mark Coffey? Oh, Tiffany Stratton. Uh, yeah. Oh, that stamina is so bad, Tiffany Stratton. Um, what is your... Oh, that's a good tables. Uh, that's a good match specialty to have uh, early on. Um... I think I gotta go, I'm gonna go Tiffany Stratton because of how well she did in the ECW My Series. If you haven't seen that, please go and check that out. It's a very fun series. So we'll go Tiffany Stratton. Those are two uh, women with five in ring XP. Alexa Bliss goes, Cedric Alexander went to Raw. Veer Mahan coming to NXT, okay. Um, we, Rey Mysterio was, was seven something. So we need two, two, so I'm gonna draft Champa. So that that those will be the two releases that happen right away to make up our, our money difference here. Angel Garza goes. Tamina going to SmackDown. And Natalia going to NXT. So we do I want you to go to men just to make that simpler. Let's go. Whoops. Where is that sort draft list by stamina? Oh, I mean. That makes it almost an easy choice. Pete Dunn's one of my favorite, as if, as you all know, if you've watched the last series. Um, so we're gonna draft Pete Dunn. Did I screw myself here? Because I need to draft at least nine. Oh no, okay, okay, we'll be good. Gonna draft, 
gonna draft Pete Dunn. And then I think I do. I, I have a few cruisers. Braun Strowman goes to Raw. Tony D'Angelo goes to SmackDown. And Bailey headed back to NXT. Let's go. Big big pick there. Um, what do I have right now? I have three special. Oh yeah, three cruisers. Is that all in the? Those are all in the, in the men's division too. Is it not? Oh, because one's Ray. So that's fake. But okay. I guess actually I don't have much of a troll. Oh, okay. Dom, dirty Dom. Do I want to utilize him right away? Um, I think the answer is begrudgingly yes. Pretty good stamina. Popularity is okay. That's what we're gonna go with. I haven't. I've never used Dirty Dom, so let's let's go and see. Ilya Dragunov was there. I could have chose him. That would have been nice. Uh, Drew Gulak going to SmackDown. Braun Breaker going to NXT. Good choice. Uh, and that's it. So we're gonna we have a budget of 1.7 million. It's gonna increase to 2.2 million. Um, yeah, but we'll, we will be buying some 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 talent week one. So let's just end it here. There is what the <laughs> whoops. Sorry. Here you're gonna get the. The picture of NXT 2.0, Rey Mysterio being covered up by Munch D Clown's hair. Way to go. This is this is the brand that's going to take us to the promise line. Other GMs not stopping the draft right now. Uh, JD McDonough going to SmackDown. Kit Wilson goes to Raw. Akira Tozawa going to NXT. I can see them doing probably one more pick, maybe two. Blair Davenport to Raw. Josh Briggs to SmackDown. Actually, maybe even one more. And Angelo Dawkins to NXT. Or are they going to call it there? Raw's going to Keita Lyons, so they're at 13 wrestlers now. SmackDown also going Fallon Henry. Dexter Loomis to NXT. And even one more, okay, Raw going Chelsea Green. I can have a lot to compete with here. SmackDown and Teddy Long have called it there. Pretty good looking roster there for SmackDown. NXT at 180, yeah, probably going to have to call that as well. Uh, big names being Cody Rhodes and Bianca Belair. AJ Styles there too. And I think that's it for Raw as well. Yeah. Finn Balor, Becky Lynch, Gunther, Rhea Ripley. That's a, that's a stacked roster for Raw. So there you can see it. Uh, our most popular wrestler is Butch, if not counting uh, Tommaso Ciampa and Remisir, who we, who will be getting released right away. So, okay. Let's see what we, we got going here. Uh, maybe we'll make this race actually to the Hall of Fame in this series because it will... I don't think we're going to... I mean... <laughs> If we, if we somehow pull off winning season one, uh, I think I'll have to like personally send an email to 2K saying um, this is too easy, <laughs> but we'll see here. So week one, four weeks ago to Hell in the Cell, we got emails from everybody. Triple H, uh, yeah, I was born for this. Let's go Ted DiBiase. William Regal. And oh, another thing I got to mention is uh, the receive a basic power card at the start. Not coming our way either, so... We missed out a lot. That's why I wasn't even checking most of the perks, which I guess I should have been doing still to see the morale of certain wrestlers, but we'll see if that comes to bite me. Um, okay, thanks, William Regal. You're going to beat us, sure. Okay. Uh, Adam Pierce is going to beat us. Okay, Dirty Dom. What do, you, what do you got here? I thought I left Sanya for good. Well, I think I better go out there and show them what they've been missing. Sure. So we are not going to select any champions except for one because this person deserved to be a champion in last season. So she's getting it right now. The morale is okay for everybody, I think. The only one upset is Tommaso Ciampa, so that's good because he's being released. So there, we'll confirm that. I know a guy. And this is probably for having money um, left over from the draft. Which will check the season goal. Oh, I guess not. Okay. Uh, complete 15 commissioner goals. All right. Book 25 matches that receive at least three stars. That's going to be hard. Uh, resolve five rivalries with a title. Now that we have access to all five titles, being men's main, women's main, uh, men's mid card, and both tag team titles, we can do this almost all in one uh, PLE. Book 10 shows with a training promo. That's actually uh, huge. 
So we're gonna do that. Um, yeah, because we have nobody within in ring XP right now. Book 10 tag team matches, just any tag team matches. Okay, that seems pretty easy. Uh, book 10 TLC match. I'm not sure even if that's unlocked yet, but TLC is also a nightmare for stamina. Spend 250k on uh, or more on promos. Okay. Uh, use 10 power cards against the other brands. We That will be hard also because we have that rule of us only uh, using one power card per week. Uh, change the role of 10 superstars. That is a lot. I mean, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna do some week one, but that is a lot. Uh, book 10 matches with superstars who have more than 65 popularity. Uh, we'll try. <laughs> Uh, okay, so show logistics, we can definitely, uh, let's give ourselves the little bit of a, of a, of a boost here to get the concert. Actually, we don't need money. That was what kind of set us apart in last series was getting the money upper hand, but we already have a ton and I haven't even released the two big guys yet. Wait, I need at least nine. So let me go and, uh, oh, nightmare. There we go. Perfect. Nightmare. Sign you for $54,000. Promo skill five on five. I'm not sure if that could be set, but uh, Sebastian Viggle, thank you if you did set his promo skill to five on five. That definitely helps. We got a fighter in Paragon J. Pierce. Uh, wait, is he in my rise? I think he's in my rise, eh? That's kind of funny. Yeah, let's sign him. Go ahead and sign him for the entire season. <laughs> That's gonna cost 20 grand. I, I feel like I should have played the uh, the fresh meat power card just to sign uh, Nightmare, but that's okay. We'll sign Paragon J. Pierce. Search, I need, what do I need? First, we're gonna go ahead now, uh, release. So I should get back half, yes. Okay. And then, oh, yeah, it's, that's about 500,000 that we just threw away. So we would have had 2.6 million in the bank if it wasn't for those picks. So that's the advantage that uh, I've been given against uh, against the, the AI here. So that will so that'll be interesting. I do have a smaller roster now. I should probably go add to that. Um, use my scout points for, let's check. We have specialist, specialist, cruiser, fighter, Bruiser, Fighter, Giant, Bruiser. Okay, so we have a Heal Cruiser and a Heal Giant and a Face Fighter, and so that's tough. Um, okay, I'm t actually two, so okay, maybe changing one of these guys, one of these guys, sorry, to a Face might be good, but they're both set to uh to heals by their creator so maybe i'll leave them that way um let me go and check to see um i have five scouting points so let's do mail uh oh geez uh actually okay do specialist just any gender here just any specialist just to add a few more here confirm Oh, Tavish, nothing. Oh, Cole Quinn, too. Okay, we're getting all of my rise involved here. Um, then let's do Giant also. Do we have any face Giants showing up? Oh, Jerry Sweat, let's go. Argus the Great? Who the hell is that? Okay, gotta get him involved, I think. Um, oh, and Olaf Ostrowski, gonna bring the big man back. Okay, so that's... Okay, let's sign these guys for a full time. End of season, Argus the Great. That's that's amazing. Uh, promo skill two on five. Let's go. Good stamina. I didn't even look. I haven't been looking for stamina actually yet. Uh, Cole Quinn stamina not great, but we're gonna sign you anyway. Promo skill two on five. Uh, okay, popularity twenty two. Well, that's, that's a lot what we're dealing with here. And I got one point left to just uh, get anyone here. There's one in particular I'm looking for to create a tag team feud and he didn't show up. Okay. Uh, is Dewey Carter new also? And he's optimistic. Let's go. We need face cruisers. Okay. Okay. So now without being too crazy. Okay. 
do we have enough do we have enough women on the roster? I just want to make sure. Um, one, two, uh, three. Oh no, we definitely need more women on the roster. We have a rivalry already made here. Um, we have two heel giants. Um, okay. So we'll see. We got, uh, I don't know, there's three heel cruisers in Dom uh, and Dirty Dom also, eh? Okay, so let's just see. We need a face. And I don't see one here. I mean, a specials for specials is not going to get uh, any good. So maybe I'll go Cora Cut. Ooh, promo skill three on five. Let's go Cora Cut. Okay, so now we're just under two million in the bank. And let's take a look at the updated roster. We now have 15 people on this roster. And uh, I think we'll try to get something started in this episode, at least uh, do one week. Um, show logistics will do, where is the fan bonus? Because we will need that. Not that. Unlock steel cage. Okay. Buy that. Great. Um, what do we got for matches right now? I think we're going to have to go and put... In a tables match, it was Tiffany Stratton. Her stamina, not good. Um, but we'll put Tiffany Stratton versus Cora Cut. Title on the line. Tables match. Hopefully Tiffany Stratton pulls that off. After all that I've talked about her about just giving her a title. And then uh, just like that, she'll lose it. But come on, Tiffany Stratton, let's go. Um, what we could do here is... Okay, we got Nightmare. We got Munch. We got... And Clay Biss. Okay, where's Red Monsoon? A lot of heals. Okay, what do we want to do here? I want to get the action going for some. Uh, do we have a heal? F I don't think we have a heal fighter yet, eh? We do not. So Nightmare might have to wait till next week. Maybe you can... Oh, he. Oh, I know what we can do with him. Did... It, and just make sure all these, all these were at zero, right? I didn't jump the gun there. Zero, zero, zero. Yeah, so everyone's at zero except for the four that we drafted. Okay, so promo skill five. We are hoping to get some good training from Nightmare. And his stamina is low, so that actually works out really well. Um, we do training from Nightmare. We have Olaf, Ostrovsky, and Munch D Clown. Get them in a rivalry going. We have Ava Moreno versus Cora Jade. Get that going. Good stamina there for each. So maybe I'll put that in the... Oh no, I'm going to use a title match in the opener. And who do I want working together? I want... Uh, what can I do here? Do I have... I don't have a bruiser, eh? Um. So what I want to do then... And my only heal giant is already... I mean, my only face giant is already in, in action. So... Pete Dunn. Pete Dunn versus Clay Biss for the NXT World Championship where we have the North American. So we'll do the NXT World Championship on the line and maybe Clay Biss could become a hero right away. Oh, I don't like the fact that there's no... Do I have another specialist here? Um, I do and he is... Face, so that is good. So Cole Quinn is going to get involved in this match with Munch D Clown. Perfect. Okay, so I, I believe the trick is to do more uh, faces in uh, multi man matches. And hopefully a rivalry starts there. What else could we do? Maybe some more training. Promo skill three for Dom. Two, two, one, and one. Okay. Um. Maybe we can do that. And I think because of how many heel cruisers we have, I'm going to do a class... Ch whoops. A roll change for Red Monsoon. I think. Or maybe Argus the Great. Argus the Great and Olaf Ostrovsky. Yeah. Yeah. We'll do that. So here is what the... 
opening card of the uh, Future Stars Challenge is looking like two trainings. Uh, maybe that, that might be a waste for Dom. But uh, or actually, he, you know what? He's forced to do charity from the time he spent in jail. It's now some charity work he's got to do for Dom. Get us some extra fans. I think that's good. Pete Dunn, a.k.a. Butch, versus Clay Biss for the NXT World Championship. In the main event, it'll be Tiffany Stratton putting her title on the line against Cora Cut. Mid-card, we have a triple threat match from Olaf Ostrowski, Munch D. Cloud, and Cole Quinn. And Ava Moreno takes on Cora Jade. Okay? I think that's uh, that's basically all we can do. We have Fresh Meat, Million Dollar. I guess we can buy some. Ooh, that would have been a huge, huge mistake to miss this so gonna buy get school this is a huge power card to have and fix match maybe i'll play that right away um they get schooled so 15 ring xp that's good who's not on the card dewey carter red monsoon paragon j pierce um because i want i'm not planning on you so maybe i'll do i'll use it on claybis because, just because. Cle where are you? Cle uh, Claybis. Boom. That took him to level three? For real? Where are you, Claybis? Oh, for them it's only five. Wow. Okay. And Claybis' promo skill is 4.5. Let's go. And he's optimistic. Let's go. Okay. So there, now we're good. We're good to go. And that is going to be week one. So let's confirm that. We don't have any show logistics except for special effects. We got fog effects already, already in place. Show costing 33 grand. Let's see how we fare. We're up first. NXT 2.0. In the first ever match, we got Butch versus Clay Biss. And Clay Biss is the new champion two-star opener. Um, that is not, I mean, actually, you know what? That probably is good for what we're, what the rest of what we're going to get. That is good. Uh, there was no, cl um, class bonus. So two star. All right, let's go. New champion, Clay Biss leading, leading the show off right. Nightmare promo. Excellent promo getting eight ring XP. So he's already grown a level as well. Mid card, Olaf, Munch and Cole Quinn. Cole Quinn picking up the win in a dull one star match. Okay. Dirty Dom with his uh, good promo getting us 5,000 fans. Ava Moreno versus Cora Jade. Class and Styles matching up. One star match, okay. Argus the Great is now a face. And Tiffany Stratton versus Cora Cut. Tiffany holds on to her title, happy with that. And a good three star match already. Okay, so we had, what was that? How many matches did we have to get with three star rating? There we go. There's what well, and a rivalry was started, so that is good. Over on Raw, an unused promo, week one. Very interesting. Because uh, they have Blair Davenport and Rhea Ripley going for the tag team titles against Nikki Cross and Becky Lynch in that opener. Tag team titles on the, on the line in the mid card, and a main event tables match for the US title on Raw. Over on SmackDown, Teddy Long is not as many not as many tag team matches you probably would have seen or uh, an appearance from the undertaker but roman reigns is putting his title on the line against our truth in the main event and is charlotte flair versus alexa bliss in the opener a non-title match there and over on nxt it is the women's champion bianca belair putting her title on the line versus jc jane and it's Stax versus veer mahan for the north american uh, championship in the main event Oh, that's going to be annoying that there's two North American champions. Not oh, whatever. There will also be four sets of women's tag, tag team champions all using the same belt, so that's okay. Uh, all right, so we'll go ahead and skip that. And yeah, that, that pretty much sums it up. We, we competed in that main event, so that's good. Performance here could have been better. Popularity not the best, but Clay Biss getting a big, uh, a big boost from becoming the new champion. Popularity not great there either. But uh, hopefully we're growing. Uh, morale went down for both the other two. That's tough. Cora Jade, stamina okay. Uh, Ava Moreno's popularity went up, so that's good. And in the main event, 
three and a half star performance good stuff and uh, Tiffany Stratton's popularity and morale went up so that is good basically all you can ask for uh, we got a ri one rivalry here and one rivalry here okay Let's see what everyone sh what everyone thought. Show quality D, match card quality C for 32,000 fans. Okay. That's 32,000 fans with a uh, with a charity promo. So, <laughs> yikes. Uh, we made $24,000. That doesn't really matter uh, at this time at all. We got Champa saying, sad leaving 2.0. Not really sure uh, what went wrong I, I, or why I wasn't part of the plans. Your in-ring XP was too high. Anyone see... Uh, yeah, anyone see NXT when I announced that go of Tommaso Ciampa? Uh, couldn't get uh, couldn't get out of second gear against Cole Quinn. Time to regroup and come back stronger, says uh, Merton Lee CO. So what is that at for Olaf Ostrovsky? Um, Lucha fan, Lucha fan TV. I like what Rey Mysterio did. Uh, what Mysterio did in that promo, and good to see NXT 2.0 back at the cause. That's funny. Clay Miss crowned new champion tonight, NXT 2.0. No one could accuse NXT 2.0 of repetitive matches this week. They mix it up a lot. Uh, compared to what? Super big boot brand. That's fine. I like it. I liked Argus the Great before. Now I love him. <laughs> High flyer artist. Okay. And raucous response for the San Diego audience for their boy Mysterio, even when he insulted them. Interesting. Over on Raw, show quality, match card quality. Match card quality B already? That's... Uh, I could be in trouble. Yeah, 45,000 fans for Raw. Okay. Uh, match card quality C over on SmackDown for 45,000 fans also. Okay. And NXT match card quality B for 52,000 fans. So this, this is going to be hard. This is going to be hard, I think. Good. We, we need the challenge here. Got to keep things fresh. So there we are in fourth place. That is no surprise. Um, we are 20,000 fans back after one week. Okay, okay, this is gonna be difficult, but that's good. That's what we wanted to see. Last last year's or last series' challenge was that was too easy. So we'll see. Three weeks ago from Hell in the Cell. Oh, power car played on us already. Scouted. Uh, double the cost of their, their uh, scout searches. Okay. Okay, back alley crew. Hmm, that's interesting that that's being played already, but okay. Jeez, two-bit arena being applied. I didn't even buy the new arena yet, William Regal. What's going on here? Wow. I didn't check the commissioner goal last week. That's tough. Um, Mysterio made an appearance from his home crowd, so that's good. Okay. Guys, so that's where we're going to end this first episode from the Future Stars Challenge. Please leave your comments and tips for, for how this could get, uh, how, how, how this series could get hard. I, I need I need to know some tips of what you guys used uh, in your my GMs to see if I can stay in the race with the three other brands. Uh, if you've watched this far, thank you so much. And if you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, share this video with your friends. Uh, it's very much appreciated. And this is our bonus episode on Sunday. So we will be having another episode tomorrow, Monday morning at 9 a.m. And as always, thanks for watching.